All righty, let's talk about some stuff. First of all, isn't that a beautiful trailer? I went up to oh, some little town, Winterville, North Carolina, something like that, up toward Asheville. Picked up some bus parts for Luke. Didn't actually need the trailer because they all fit in the back of there, and I'll show you all a video on that for too long. But another thing is, you know, I sold the Rambler, and I have over the years collected a lot of car parts. And I was debating in my mind the other day, what should I do? I was thinking about the Rambler and thinking nobody knows that car better than I do. And if somebody's not going to take it and take care of it and do it right, then am I letting it go? Am I letting it down? Do I have a responsibility to try to do it? And I said, Lord, Lord, give me a sign. If somebody wants all these car parts so I can get out of it, just send them to buy them all well guy showed up i had an engine for sale he said yeah i'll take that engine i'll take that other engine i'll take those other two engines i'll take all them heads i'll take in fact he said just put a price tag on everything you got and tell me it and i'll take them all i checked with my son because he might want some of these high performance parts but he said i might just take them all he said he used to he used to build engines and he had some illness and he got rid of all his stuff so he said he just wanting to get back into building engines and you know this old vintage car stuff is uh it's not that's that easy to come by anymore and some people that's got it want more for it than it was ever worth before so i gave him a price and he said okay sounds good to me let me check with my son so i got all of this up here i got uh i got two sets of power pack heads and a set of um uh 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 uh, uh no i got one set of power pack heads two sets of camel hump heads i got Two engine blocks. I got all the short block pistons, crankshaft, and everything else that goes with it. Anyway, so I think he's going to take all. So, which will mean I'm out of the car built, Chevy building business. In fact, I offered to sell him both engine stands and the run stand out back. So, I'm just waiting to hear back from him. But in the meantime, I thought I'd put my trailer back down in the woods there. And of course, in order to do that, I pulled my two hot rods out of here the other day. To get the parts, that reminds me, I got a crankshaft I got to pull out of there. So I might as well take the golf cart down and put that crankshaft in the in the golf buggy and bring it up here with the rest of it. But I pulled my rat rod and my Studebaker out to get to those parts, and then I didn't put them back away. And of course, to get my trailer in there, I need to swing down there and back it in. So let's just move them both. Y'all can watch. Sometimes y'all don't mind watching me move my old cars around them. Before I do that, I'll run in, I'll run into here and I'll get the uh, crankshaft that I was talking about. You did put it on the back of the golf cart. It's sitting right over there. This is going to take me a second. Y'all just hang on now. Don't be, don't be so dang impatient. You know, Wayland Wire's videos are half hour or 45 minutes long, so there's no reason for y'all to rush over there. It's not like they're going to get over with before you get there and back. So just Chill out. So, let's see. Yep. Yep. I think this is the one that went with the four bolt main engine. You know, when I was a little boy, my mama, well, the preacher said, Pete, the legend, he, Paul, uh, Paul Anderson, once was called the strongest man in the world. He was from Georgia. And the legend was that his dad on the junkyard, he would go out and lift up car parts because they didn't have weights to lift. And uh, I said, the thing to do, come car parts are heavy. They're heavy. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get this out of here, and then we'll put them, we'll put the Studi Baker and the rat on. I need to clean out a little space there, but I can sit, y'all. How do I want to do this? Well, we'll do it like, what does that rat rod look good sitting there? Oh, goodness gracious, great balls of fire, I think. Per deer and a shiny new nickel in it. Let's, let's get a big, let's do the big close up thing. Let's just look at it from, oh yeah, just look at it. Oh, oh, just look at it. Just look at it. 
Oh, it's so pretty. And look at that one there. Oh, that's so pretty too. Oh, I love that stuff. Mmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So. So. Let's. I'm just going to park right here. And I'll zero y'all back out from where you are back to a normal focus thing. Put you into a normal looking focus thing. Let's see, I put my camera back here on this pile of box. Does that work? Pile of box. Pile of parts. Does that work? Let's try that there. Let's try that. I don't know about that. Looks like it might fall. Over here, I'm kind of blocking the shot into the garage. I could take the rat rod first, get it out of the way. Out of the way, I can. Oh, there's no one. Whee! Whee! There's some fallen in here. Where is she? All the time. Just say it. <laughs> battery in this one yesterday. Another thing I'm thinking about is saving my I was about to talk about saving my exhaust headers from the engine stand. I'm trying them on here, but I bet they would hit that steering box right there. Oh, I hear the sound of somebody coming. That could be my honey baby. Yeah, it is my honey baby. I'm going to run up there and talk to my honey baby. Before I do anything else, oh the joy! I will reconnoiter, reconnect, and reconstruct what's left of this conversation with y'all in a bit. Okay. Oh, I love this day. Wee ha! I'm gonna bring that trailer and shove it up in there. Well, I guess I could let y'all sit on the hood of the Rambler while I do that. I'll come down here with that trailer and sit back it in there. Back it in there. Daisy loves it when I do that. She knows she's about to get a belly scratch. Whee! I ain't giving y'all no belly scratch. 
I don't care if you do lay down and put your feet in the air and look cute. <laughs> well, maybe some of you. <laughs> cutworm, I give you one. Belly scratch the cutworm. 